Alright, so apparently there's another cutscene. I didn't expect this, but I mean, we'll do this then, homecoming. So, I guess if I just fly in there, then things happen. Repeat, tower approach. This is City Hawk 723. Anyone home? Yeah. That doesn't look like my No warlock. response on any channels. Even the emergency frequencies. That warlock makes mine look ugly. What is going on back there? Remember when I told you that you fly too fast? Forget I said that. Fly fast. Speed. Power. Oh, no. No. When, last time the cutscene showed, that thing was a lot bigger that was trying to take the traveler. Okay, now for the, uh, the eternal loading. But there's some never-before-seen cutscenes. I mean, the first one, not the... Some, oh, oh no. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, no. Look, controls. Uh-huh. Uh. Uh. Alright, is everything normal? Okay. Alright, now let's take a look at some of the weapons that we have, because we have an option. Alright, so the Scathalock. This weapon was forged by Evrim K6 for the survivors. Uh, okay. Japanese thing with weapon mods, though. Alright, so this is an auto rifle, pulse rifle, and hand cam. Pulse rifle, what is this? Oh wow, the trees look so much different. So, let's take a look at what I can put on. Alright, the magazine is optimized for recoil control. Alright, greatly increased stability. Slightly decreased range. Alright, then he's gonna say increased stone. Alright, so this would help with stability. Which is gonna be nice. I don't need range much, but. And then, look at these. Oh, wow. Okay. It's the pulse rifle, auto rifle, um, increased ability, reload speed, and magazine size, or slightly increased range. Oh, knock the target back further. That is cool. That is awesome. Let's look at some of the sights that we have. Hmm. So we got like a ranged sight going on. Oh, and handling's a stat now. That's awesome. Alright, uh, and hand cannon. What does my hand cannon do? The yeah, explosive payload. I forgot to look at that perk. Okay, I'll look at that in the other weapons. Greatly increased magazine size, greatly decreased reload speed. And, uh, anything else? Oh, this weapon has a greatly increased magazine size, but reloads much slower. Okay, uh. Yeah, I can see that. Alright, drop mag. Magazine drops on reload, wasting ammunition, but greatly increasing reload speed. I would not use that if I were you in if PvP, PvE hand cannons, never use that. And we have the usual sure shot. No true sight though, that's unfortunate. Alright, and then we have some of these perks. Kill clip, reloading after kill grants increased damage. That's awesome. I'm gonna check out some of the new uh, scopes too. That thing, and then this thing. I'm probably gonna eat this thing, honestly. Okay. Now, the Nergal, whatever it's called. Alright, so this is a pulse rifle. Uh, full auto trigger system. Okay, holding out a trigger will fire the weapon full auto. Ricochet rounds. Round ricochet off hard surfaces. Yeah, nice. You know what that does. This magazine is optimized for recoil control. Hmm. Yes. And torch or flash for a pulse rifle. Probably flash, I guess. Okay, scout rifle. Let's see this. The black scorpion. Okay, tactical mag. This weapon has multiple tactical improvements. Slightly increased stability, slightly increased reload speed, slightly increased magazine size. Alright. It's optimized for recoil control. Uh, probably on a scout rifle, I'd want. Stability. And oh, 
full yeah, full bore, just a bunch of new perks that have these things. Why would you even go for arrow break when you could just do flood barrel? Moving target, increased movement speed and target acquisition when uh, moving while aiming down sights. Alright, that's that's amazing actually. Sounds like a pretty fun perk. Alright, the Urken 3S1, which looks super cool, but I've heard they're not very good. So, Outlaw, Precision feels great. Yeah, we know what that does. Greatly increased reload time. Uh, this magazine is optimized for recoil control, so greatly increased ability and slightly decreased range. Well, this weapon has multiple ta tactical improvements. Slightly increased ability, slightly increased reload speed, slightly increased magazine size. Um, probably on the sidearm I would want stability a lot, but range, yeah. Alright, then the sights, uh, probably this one. Okay, and, oh, we have weapon shaders, that's cool. So you can get weapon shaders now, that's interesting. Alright, uh, and this is, um, this is the infused thing, and then this is your weapon shader, and then what was that thing that I saw in here? Uh, solar damage mod, oh! Equip to this charge rounds its soul. Equip to this to a weapon to charge its rounds its solar energy. Hmm, that's cool. So weapon mods now. All right, so we have a pulse rifle here, and I'm gonna say, well, actually, I'll put on a. I want to test out everything though, but first, your main ingredient. It's a fusion rifle. Now stir the sauce. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got. Rampage. Kills with this weapon. Temporarily grant increased damage. Oh. So it's like crowd control, basically. Enhanced battery increases. Magazine size. Oh, and uh, strong back. Yeah. Um, then this. Slow building charge for higher damage. Increases up. Increases impact damage. Slows charge time. I'll probably use that. Alright, then you have the sights, which... What the heck? <laughs> Probably gonna use hit mark honestly. I don't even know what it looks like, but we'll test that out. And then the Akansa D. Your piercing light knows no limits. Your searcher's heart no bounds. All right. So pulse monitor automatically reloads a portion of the magazine when wielder is critically wounded. All right, that's nice. Many frags. Your names are smaller and more compact for for easier reloading. All right. So increase magazine size, increase reload speed, so that's gonna be fun, but grenades fired from this weapon bounce further. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna probably go for that though. Alright, then we have volatile launch, but I prob I'm probably gonna go with yeah, volatile launch. So that sounds that sounds better. There is no weapon shader for this, so oh, we have these intrinsic perks. Do these come in all of them? Okay, well rounded grip, reliable, and sturdy. Okay, I didn't see these. Let's take a look. Lightweight frame, so superb handling the best with this weapon equipped. Oh, that's that's gonna be nice. All right, um, well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy. This thing has superb handling the best with this weapon equipped. That's nice. It's full auto. Oh, deeper ammo reserves. Slightly faster when the magazine is empty. Okay, this is gonna be really really good. Now, the black scorpion. Now this thing. Super handling move faster with this weapon equipped. Alright. Then I'm gonna go scout, rifle, at least for this mission, and then pulse rifle. Oh, and we can play Voidwalker. So we have Voidwalker and Sunsinger. My character just looks amazing right now, honestly. And then we have the super cool city guy. No clan banner, because no clan support, but yeah. Take a look at the build in here. Um, hold that to, con to conjure a well light that increases weapon. It will have like the increased weapon damage. I'll probably take healing. I mean that creates a flare solar. Yeah, uh, solar light. Okay, yeah, uh, solar grenade probably. Burst light, strafe, glide. Into, start a airborne drift with strong directional control. Strong initial boost of speed probably. And then we have engage enemies mid flight, fire weapons, and throw grenades while gliding. Okay, hard run, airborne kills, recharge your grenade, and melee energy casting daybreak instantly refills all your no, instantly refills all your ability energy. Press that to mid air, in mid air to dodge. Double O. 
Uh, strike an enemy with this melee ability to burn your target temporarily, increase your movement speed and reload speed. Alright, now let's take a look at the Void Walker build. That's what a lot of people are probably excited for. Alright, so same thing Healing Rift. Then I'm probably going to go Blink, which is, a, which is a thing here. Then Vortex Grenade, Axion Bolt, Scatter Grenade, Axion Bolt for me. Then we have Chaos Accelerant. Well, that one to draw power from your super to um, overcharge your grenade, making it deadlier and more effective. That sounds cool. So, I've never seen this mechanic. You can take away your super energy to charge your other abilities. That is it's kind of cool. Void abilities cause enemies to explode. <laughs> Cataclysm. Nova Bomb travels slowly and seeks enemies. Detonates shatter into smaller seeker no or seeker projectiles fire your weapon at the nova bomb to detonate it early okay so that's cool entropic pull strike an enemy with this melee ability to drain your enemy's life force and use it to recharge your grenade all right yeah we, we all know that okay so we got the nova bomb at the dawn but you've probably all seen uh clips of these but if not you, f you jump up you throw fiery swords down uh, and Void Walker, you, you throw a Nova Bomb. So, yeah, uh, let me have these. And then, yeah, the whole settings thing, which I had a crisis with. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you guys in my next video where I play through the strike. Uh, so, yeah, see you all later. Peace. I mean, why did I even say strike? I'm at story mission. I'm stupid. Goodbye.